creating a PM program for food manufacturing facilities. To create an effective preventive maintenance program for your food production plant, follow these steps. Take inventory of your facility. First, take a thorough inventory of the equipment and other assets in your facility. The items that should be on this list include, but are not necessarily limited to, food processing equipment, temperature control units, HVAC systems, storage silos, mobile equipment, building and structural elements. It is worth taking the time to inventory your entire facility since doing so will give you the clearest picture possible of the scope of your facility's maintenance plan. Assess the criticality and risk of each piece of equipment. Once you have a list, it is time to prioritize your equipment based on criticality and risk. Naturally, food processing machines will often be a high priority since if they break down, they could cause significant losses. However, anything that poses a significant risk in terms of food safety, occupational hazards, or downtime should be taken seriously, particularly if there's a moderate to high chance of it occurring. On the other hand, improbable failure modes that would have only a moderate impact likely will not be as high priority. The age of equipment may also come into play here. Given that equipment in most food manufacturing facilities tend to be over 20 years old, age-related wear and tear are likely to be an issue. Identify failure modes. With a prioritized list of assets, it is time to identify specific failure modes, particularly those that are either likely to occur or which would cause significant losses. As with your asset inventory, it is important to make sure you are thorough with this step since it will help you make your preventive maintenance plan more comprehensive. Plan maintenance tasks to prevent failure modes. Your list of failure modes will naturally inform the kinds of preventative maintenance tasks you will plan for each asset. Each task should address specific failure modes, and if they don't, they are probably a waste of time. In this step, it's not only important to create a list of tasks, but also to plan the timing as well. Often, your maintenance plan for a given asset may involve condition monitoring. Incorporating condition-based monitoring into your maintenance strategy can help improve the reliability of key food processing equipment. Enter data into your CMMS. With plans for the types of tasks to be performed on each asset and their frequency, it is time to input that data into your CMMS. Having your system automatically generate recurring work orders at set intervals can help ease the administrative burdens of handling maintenance work in such a complex, fast-paced environment. Track results and make improvements. No maintenance plan should be set it and forget it. Odds are you won't have everything planned out perfectly right from the start, nor should you let perfection get in the way of getting a plan in place. That does not mean you implement your preventive maintenance plan haphazardly, but it does mean that continuous improvement is key to a successful program. Keep monitoring the data through your CMMS and make improvements as appropriate. Potential improvements you might make over time include updating PM frequencies to match those of recurring failure modes, updating your current program to align with current good manufacturing practices and changes to federal regulations, implement sensors and predictive maintenance technology, adjust tasks to better reflect actual issues in your facility. The key is to make sure work happens where and when it needs to.